Brand new to Keyshot 2025.2 is light layers, which allow you to control which lights affect which geometry. Although this isn't a realistic way to operate, it can be a game changer in product photography, as lights can often cast unwanted reflections and shadows on other parts of your designs. A simple example of where this could be useful is creating artistic, pin-sharp shadows but having your product softly lit. A more complex example would be on the back of smartphones where the lights for the camera module would interfere with the side rails. Beforehand, you would have to composite two renders together in post-production. Now you can do it all inside Keyshot. Let's take a look. Light Layers is accessible in Tools Light Layers. At the top of this panel, you can create layers and assign geometry to them. At the bottom, you choose which lights you want to affect those layers. I'll start by making two new layers, camera and backdrop. With the camera layer selected, I can select pick parts and locate the rear camera folder from the tree. And for the backdrop, I'll just select it in the scene and click select parts with layer. Now we have our layers configured, we can move on to the lights. This shot comprises two planar lights, two spotlights and two HDRI pins. All of the light sources will be listed in the lights menu below. All you need to do is work your way through and choose which light sources affect which layer. For example, the backdrop layer is only going to be lit by the backdrop spotlight. The camera layer is only going to be lit by the camera gradient and edge lights. And the default layer, the main body of the phone, is going to be lit by both the environment and the back glass spotlight. And that's it. This shot simply wouldn't be possible without light layers, no matter how much time you put into it. That's light layers in Keyshot 2025.2. Let us know what you'll use this for down in the comments below.